How you going, people? Well, shit. <laughs> I, uh, in my video, <laughs> that's what I love about the internet, man. You make a mistake, somebody's going to catch it. <laughs> All right, everybody record this and make a loop of it. I'm only going to say it once. I might have been maybe a little wrong. <laughs> so I said that if two cars are traveling at 50 miles an hour and they hit head on, it would be like one car traveling 100 miles an hour hitting a wall. And I still kind of believe the forces and the impact would would be more than a, than a car hitting a wall at 50 miles an hour because you have two opposing forces hitting each other. But physics has proven that if two cars hit each other at 50, it's like a car hitting a wall at 50. And I don't get it. Uh, I don't get all the numbers in the physics, but MythBuzzers did a thing, and I was going to show a couple clips just to kind of prove me wrong. So Now the 50 mile per hour impact clocked an impressive 58 Gs. But will doubling the speed double the damage to this car? Yes, I think it will double the damage. It'll more than quadruple the damage. Um, it's on a, a scale, it's kind of like velocity of a bullet. If a bullet goes 1,000 miles an hour, you would think 1,200 would only give, or 1,000 miles an hour, 1,000 feet per second. You would think 1,200 feet per second would be 200 feet per second more. But it isn't. It's like on a compounding effect. Uh, so 200 is more than just 2. 300 is more than just 100 more than 2. Uh, if you know about earthquakes, you know, a, a 5 point and a 6 point earthquake, it, it doesn't go up just 1. It, it like doubles every 2 or something. It, it, it goes on a different scale. So in cars, the same way, and, and when they crash this car, it's like four times. So here's the same car going 100 miles an hour into a wall. Guys are understandably speechless. That impact crushed the lemon car with such force, it should be in a glass with ice and a cocktail umbrella. Pretty significant impact. I was chasing a car. I told him one of my crazy cop stories. Uh, a guy was trying to run from us, and he hit a pillar at about... Uh, somewhere between 90 and 100. And man, the car, the car didn't look like this, but he didn't hit it square on and it was a square pillar on a bridge. So it didn't impact the full frontal part of the car. It hit more on a passenger side and it crumpled it up into the front seat, but it still crumpled the other part and, and he lived for a few minutes, but I digress. Let me get to back to this. Really interesting science going on when you compare these two impacts. You would think that doubling the speed would give you twice the severity of the impact, but the physics says you're actually looking at more like four times the severity of the impact. So this is 100 miles an hour. This is 50 miles an hour. It's obviously more than double because it's just, I mean, it crumples his car. Our sensors are showing three times the G's, and our wreckage is showing about twice the damage. So what's going on here? Our wreckage is showing about twice the damage. So what's going on here? Well, just like this can, the more I crush it, the more it resists crushing. There's some complex physics going on here, but you don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand it. The cars speak for themselves. Pretty significant. 50 mile an hour car, 100 mile an hour car. Then as both couples uncouple. <laughs> and you say, that breathtaking finale is the final piece of their physics puzzle. And as the Mythbusters survey the wreck of a two car, 50 mile per hour pileup, they're playing spot <laughs> Pretty much looks like the other car um, that hit a wall at 50. So actual damage, it looks pretty clear that it is only 50, even though I was using the logic that, uh, you know, if you throw, a plane can't fly into its bullets because the bullets may be leaving at 2,000 feet per second from the wing, 
And if the plane is flying faster than 2,000 feet per second, you would think if you shot the bullet, it wouldn't leave the barrel, but it doesn't. It leaves the barrel with the speed that you're going. So it actually leaves the plane 2,000 feet faster than the plane's going. So the plane can't run into its own bullets, not in a straightaway so effect. And I was kind of just doubling the same thing, but evidently I was wrong, and this video proves it pretty clearly. <laughs> it's pretty evident, isn't it? It really is. It looks just like the 50 mile an hour against a wall crash. And nothing like the 100. No. Amazing. <laughs> This tells me the whole story. So, uh, whoever made the comment, I think one or two people made the comment. Thanks for catching me. Now you get to run around. I knew he was full of shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, so any, I'll put a link to the video where I made the snafu and said that. And um, hell, if I can remember, somebody put in there which video this, so I can remember which one to link. All right, well, in that there, on car carnage.